Hello, my friends from St. Luke's and Betley. Give us a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. It's good to see you today. Let's start with our whole school prayer. God, grant me peace to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. With the help of your love. Amen. Amen. Brilliant. Well, my friends, it's my last time with you this year, this term. We're in the last week of the last term of the year, aren't we? I wonder how we're feeling about that. Hmm, put your hands up. Who's feeling a little bit sad about it? Some of you. Put your hands up. Who's feeling a little bit happy about it? Some of you. Okay, hands down. Put your hands up if you're feeling a little bit sad and a little bit happy. Mm, that's where I am today. You see, I'm a little bit sad because it's my last time with you. And I'm sure you might be a little bit sad because it's your last week in your classroom. Yeah, and it's your last week of being with your friends every day. But also... You might be a little bit happy because from next week, it means no more getting up early, no more rushing around, getting ready for school, which is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah? And no more homework. Hooray! <laughs> but of course, a little bit sad because I'm sure all of you are going to miss your time with your teachers who are amazing aren't they in fact why don't you give your teachers a great big round of applause now a great big clap to say thank you come on let's give them a big clap yeah fantastic your teachers truly deserve that because they are absolutely amazing and wonderful aren't they brilliant okay listen in again guys thank you now here is a three-letter word that I have been thinking about this week. Shout out what this word says. Yeah, it says end, doesn't it? It's the end of school. It's the end of term. It's the end of my time with you this year. And it's the end of our time thinking about respect. And I have loved being with you, thinking about respecting ourselves, respecting others, respecting God, Respecting the environment and respecting the places and buildings around us. Really important it has been thinking about respect. And I know that it's not the end of you acting with respect. I know you're going to carry that on throughout the summer, aren't you? Are you? Yeah. Yeah, good. I know you are. And I don't like thinking about the end being sad. So I've been looking this week at a way to turn my frown upside down and make the end something happy and positive. So I've thought about some different words that have the word end in them. And here is my first one. Spend, that's right. How are we going to spend our summer holidays time? Are you going away on holiday? Yes, yeah, some of you are. I'm getting to go camping for a few days at Towin, so I'm going to be really excited to spend time with my family and spend time at the beach. I love it. And my dog, Bruce, who you all know, he loves running around and digging in the sand and splashing in the sea. So I'm really looking forward to spending time at the beach. Perhaps you're going on holiday and you've got some, some that were special to spend your time. Maybe you've been saving your pocket money or birthday money. And during the holidays, you're going to get to go shopping and spend it on something really special. That's exciting and something to look forward to, isn't it? And of course, as we've already said, it's going to be great to spend the morning not rushing around getting ready for school and perhaps having a lion, maybe even breakfast in bed. Oh, that'll be fantastic, that will. My second word is... That's a tricky one to sound out, isn't it? That one is, do we know? That's right, it says ascend. And you remember earlier in the year, we looked at the ascension of Jesus. Where Jesus ascends, that meant he goes up to heaven. Just like Superman flying up into the clouds, Jesus ascended to heaven. He went up. So the word ascend reminded me of all of us, all of you, because this summer, 
when we come back in September, you will have all ascended up to the next level. You will have ascended up to the next year, won't you? And of course, year six will have ascended to a whole new school. That's a bit of an exciting time, isn't it? So the word ascend, going up. We're all going to go up and do amazing things this next term, I'm sure. And my third word is friend. That's right. I knew you'd all know that word. Friend. We all have some amazing friends, don't we? Yeah, hands up if you've got amazing friends. Yeah, I know you have. And hopefully this summertime you'll be able to spend some time with them. Perhaps you've already arranged to go to the park or have a picnic. Perhaps you're even having sleepovers. Maybe it's your birthday in August and you're getting to have a birthday party and have your friends round. That's going to be fantastic, especially now all the COVID rules are relaxing. That's going to be really good to see your friends again during the school holidays. Fantastic. And of course, there are lots of other words with the word end in them, recommend and send. And I'm sure you can think of lots of others. Perhaps later on today, you can think about some words and see how positive they are so that you're turning the word end in not in, from something sad into something positive and happy. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, I'm sure you can. My last word is this word splendid because i hope and pray that we're all going to have a splendid time over the summer holidays doing splendid things with our friends and family are we all gonna do that are we all gonna try yet the word end isn't all that bad is it i tell you what let's just close our eyes and have a time of reflection close your eyes for me Close your eyes and just think about some of the amazing and favourite memories you have of this year. Think about all the great work that you've done. Think about all the fun times that you've had. Think about your favourite lesson. And I'm sure that's put a great big smile on your face. And just with your eyes closed still, just in the quietness of your heart, just spend a moment thanking God. Thanking God for those great memories. Thanking God for the great things that you've learned. Thanking God for your great teachers and everyone in the school who's helped you to have those great times. And thanking God for all those in the school who, even behind the scenes, have helped to make things run smoothly in what's been a very difficult year for everyone. Just thank God in your heart in the quiet for a moment. And we'll pray together. Dear God, we thank you for our school and this year which is coming to an end. We thank you for our teachers and all the hard work that they have done. We thank you for the dinner ladies, the cleaners, the caretaker and everyone involved in the running of the school who has helped to keep us super safe in this very strange year that we've had. We thank you for all the things that we have learnt and we thank you, especially this term, that we've thought about respect. Father God, help us to remember to show our respect at all times. Help to keep us safe this summer, Father God. Help us to make good choices and help us to come back in September ready to learn new, fresh things. With the help of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to do something a little bit different and special to finish with today, especially for our Year 6 friends. So... Apart from year six, everybody in the school, I want you to reach your hand out, reach your hand out and imagine that year six are standing there in front of you. So perhaps close your eyes, that will help you to imagine. So close your eyes and think of someone you know in year six or just imagine it's year six standing there in front of you, okay? Now year six, I want you to stand, well, I want you to sit, you haven't got to stand up, but sit with your arms open as if you're expecting to receive a gift. OK, because when we pray, well, the rest of us are going to pray for you and our prayers are going to come up to God and God is going to give you the gift. He's going to answer the prayer and he's going to let you know he's with you. So with your eyes closed, year six, hold your arms open to receive and the rest of the school, put your hands out to put, put your prayer going up to God. 
and we're going to pray. Well, I'm going to pray, but you're all going to say amen with me because we're all going to be in agreement with this prayer. So let's all pray together for year six. Father God, we thank you for our wonderful friends in year six. We thank you for the time we've spent with them. We thank you for the amazing young people they are. We thank you for everything they have been taught in the school and pray for them that as they ascend up to high school, they will know peace. Give them courage to face every challenge that comes their way. Remind them of everything that they have learned here. Let them know that you, God, are with them every step of the way, that they are never alone and they can always turn to you, God, and they will, you, they will always receive help from you. They can do it, Lord. They can overcome every challenge and they have nothing to fear, Father God. Father God, grant our year six wisdom every day to make good choices. Help them to remember everything that they have been taught, Lord. Father God, we pray that you will bring special new friends alongside them to help and guide and encourage them. But most of all, Father God, help them to remember that you are always there for them. They never need to feel alone because they can always turn to you in prayer. Father God, we know that you love them so much. Remind them how much they are loved, Father God, and they are special and they can achieve absolutely everything with your help, Father God. We thank you, Jesus, for each and every child, Father God. Bless them all, Father God, with the help of your love. Amen. 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 Well, year six, I do hope and pray that this is an especially special last day for you. Remember everything that you've been taught on your journey through primary school. Everything, nothing's going to go to waste. You're going to use it all in high school. You are absolutely awesome. In fact, all of you guys, everyone, you guys and gals watching, you are all awesome. You are all amazing. And I just hope and pray that you have a special, super wonderful summer holidays and that you stay safe. And I can't wait to see you next term. God bless you all. See you again soon.